I uploaded a song. It's actually a spoken word about this girl right here. Her name is Sham, S-H-A-M, Al Tawil. She's from Gaza, seven years old. Her whole family was killed. She's the only survivor. And my spoken word is about how everybody's trying to get aid to Gaza. But recently, I think it was today or yesterday, Israel actually bombed the aid convoy of trucks. They bombed the food that was trying to come in to feed the Gazans who have been starving because Israel cut off the food and water and supplies to that. So I made a, I made a spoken word um, commentary recording about this girl, Sham. When I went to upload it to the site that I put all my stuff on, numberonemusic.com, I couldn't use her name, Sham, S-H-A-M, unless I separated the letters because clearly they're using AI bots because they saw the word Sham. And I literally got a, a um, notification, a prompt, that said, censored because some, some words are not allowed. The only word they censored was the word sham. How the hell is the word sham offensive? Unless that AI bot is scanning for different languages and the word sham means something different in a different language. But I'm speaking English. How does it not understand English? For it to connotate that that was somehow offensive is pretty strange when I'm mentioning the girl's name. She's from Gaza. She's Palestinian. She's a Palestinian child. Or Gazan. Or there's Israelis living there too. Nobody cares. The world's trying to get food through and Israel is not letting it through. And people are blocking the convoy trucks and they just got bombed because nobody wants anybody to help Palestine. America, Britain, the West, they don't want anybody to help Gaza. So, and now the U.S. is like, oh, we're going to fight Yemen and Iran and everybody else. Those are the ones that are protecting Palestine. America is standing behind Israel, who is destroying Palestine and killed this little girl's family. So when I made a commentary about the girl and what her com and what her situation is, and I used the double entendre because the humanitarian aid to Gaza is a sham. You see? So there's a nice, con nice double meaning there. So now... I'm documenting this because I feel I think they're going to remove this. I think they're going to remove it because I mentioned her name in the commentary several times. And all I was doing was reading from an article from the Palestine Chronicle.com. So this is censorship and it's not even it's not even done right. They they tag the word sham when it doesn't mean anything. It means a hoax, right? So there's a triple meaning right there. Because the humanitarian aid to Gaza is also a hoax. This has been going on for so long. Now everybody cares all of a sudden? <laughs> Give me a break. So we'll see if this gets removed. If it does, I'm going to do something about it. This is censorship. I've been on this site for a long, long, long time. They wouldn't even let me use her picture. I finally was able to upload the picture, but I had to change the name of the picture. I had to, I had to change her name to put letters, space between the letters, so that uh, this is obviously not human intervention. This is obviously an AI bot that's doing this because it didn't even realize. You see, it only read the name, right? And then what I did was I, I wrote a brief explanation in the lyrics section about what was happening. And I'm only documenting this because I think it's going to get removed. So what I wrote was, <clears throat> I want it to be known that when I uploaded this file, I was censored for using the word sham, which I now have to write with spaces between each letter so as not to inform the AI bots who are apparently lurking behind the scenes here at Number One Music. When I tried to upload a photo from the Palestine Chronicle of the girl I mentioned in the broadcast, I couldn't use her photo because her name is Sham al Will. hence the point of the narration on the play on words in the title. When I separated each letter with a space, they still rejected it, but then it still showed up and I was able to use it for my content. So you can plainly see that this is not human intervention. This is and Number One Music using AI to control us. This has never happened on this site. Things have changed. It was never like this before. There are quote-unquote artists on this site advocating violence, either physical or sexual. No one bothered them. Others rap about drugs and gang violence, subjugating women or white people, but I got censored. Not for nothing. I've certainly said some offensive things in my Chronicast sessions, yet no one said anything about that. Nope. Nothing until just now. Big Brother is now a reality. And then I wrote, here's the article from the Palestine Chronicle. This is real news. You won't see the truth on the mainstream media shows or sites because many of them are bought and paid for by quote-unquote Israel. And then I left 
the actual article there, which includes her name, and that hasn't been tagged yet. So I believe that this is going to be removed, and that's why I'm documenting this right now to make sure that it's not removed. This is my page for Boston Chronic. Well, Chronic, but I call it Boston Chronic. On numberonemusic.com, I've been on this site for a long time. I do very well here. And if this is removed, I'm going to raise a fuss about it because clearly they're using AI bots or artificial intelligence for something. Why would they do that? Why would they do that? Why wouldn't they just not have real people doing it? Why wouldn't they have real humans doing this instead of AI bots? You want to send it to somebody, at least do it right.